Hey guys, so there's no springs in this suspension, yet it's able to, you know, it's able to, to be quite a nice tense responsive suspension. So essentially the, the way that I'm able to do this is by twisting a Lego axle. You can see the top of it here as it rotates, but at the bottom it's held completely stationary. And it's held stationary um, by this little piece. You might be able to see it inside there. So that's, that's basically just being twisted. And a lot of these pieces that you see are actually just the bracing because there's a lot of tension and it wants to move out of place. So that's how that's configured. Now on this model, um, it was kind of more retroactive, the addition of it, but it's the same principle. And the reason why it was really necessary on this model, not so much on this one, um, was because of these long um, suspension arms. Now, when the suspension arm is longer, think of it as like a lever that's even longer, which means in order to keep the car suspended, the further that this distance away from um, this, you know, if you think about it as like if you have your pivot point right down here and the force is being applied at this end, the longer that that distance is, the more torque is required to counteract the weight of the car and keep the vehicle suspended. So that was just a little um, kind of interesting update I thought, and I thought I'd just explain some of the physics behind it as well. Um, but yeah, so that's really it. This is just a little in progress thing. I think what I might end up doing is actually making these wishbone uh, arms as long as, as these ones because I think it is quite useful to be able to use that kind of the, the, those long wishbone arms with the, the crazy amount of travel that you would get out of them. Um, and also it would solve another problem as well, which is these CV joints, they actually don't um, have as much of a range of motion um, or you know a viable range of motion. It's really, it's like this is actually quite extreme for them. Um, for them to be able to rotate and go up and down, it needs to be closer to about here. So yeah, that would actually be kind of interesting as well. Um, so I'm gonna work on that. And um, yeah, so that's a short little update. Uh, thanks for watching guys. Thanks to everybody who's been um, subscribing and, and is interested in the uh, content and stuff like that. Um, for now, I'm gonna keep it fairly short form. Um, but you know, when things get going, maybe I'll do some longer form videos, which I'm, I'm not as good at, but yeah, it's, I'm just enjoying uploading these little ideas. Anyways, thanks for watching guys and remember to like and subscribe. I don't think I'm ever going to get used to asking people to do that.